What's up, squad? What's up, squad? We live, we live, we live. If you can hear my voice and if you can hear me clearly, y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Put your aliens in the chat and we will get started in just a moment hey y'all hey y'all i see y'all in here can y'all see me probably not but uh yeah you'll see me in just a second get ready because you about to be an atl -L -E -L Get ready, get ready. I'm ready. Are you? Get ready, cause you. What's up? What's up? I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. What's up, squad? Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Hey y'all. Hey queen. What's up, y'all? Know I gotta greet my people. Don't be getting mad, cause I'm greeting my people. Uh, like this video and share it, so we can get some more people in here. Shout out to my Facebookers over there in the building. If you on the Facebook. If you on the Facebook, leave me some thumbs up and some stars. I need some stars. All the people over here on the YouTube, y'all know what to do. Click that like button and all of that jazz. Y'all see the topics? Y'all like them topics? I picked, I picked out, I guess I picked out some that, you know, we had touched on before, but I felt like we didn't dive in. We didn't dive in deep enough. So y'all see, I got Fedra and her new boobs, honey, or her push-up bra, whichever y'all want to think it is. We got Candy and her, you know, attitude with everybody. We got Lanithia and we have uh, Cynthia Boring Bailey. But, you know, I, listen, I talk about, you know, housewives adjacent people, even when they're not on the show. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to talk about Cynthia Bailey, okay? You said this is going to be like an old school episode of R-H-O-A. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of old school episodes, y'all, shout out to, who was it that sent me this uh, message over here? You know, I don't know if it's uh, uh, incognito or not, but, you know, shout out to you, Afia. Afia, I appreciate you because we going to, uh, this is like the fan mail portion. <laughs> Even though she's not a fan, she's a subscriber uh, of the fan mail portion of the show where um, Afia actually gave me some tea earlier today. And I was like, oh, that would be juicy to talk about. Let's talk about it. Now, I don't know, you know, some of y'all be watching Bravo during the day. And y'all be tuned in. Y'all be trying to see what's going on during the day. Well, apparently some people were tuned in today and they noticed that, um, you know, they was playing some old Housewives uh, episodes, you know, back when the Housewives used to be great. <laughs> Remember when I said make the Atlanta Housewives great again? Well, uh, Bravo was listening. And so they decided to to air like them old shows that we loved and we wanted to see again. And who, pray tell, was front and center? Y'all know the people they say they don't need, honey. Mm-hmm. The person that they say they don't need. Who is that? You saw KKK, Kim, and Croy. Honey, you said Nene Leaks was on there. Ooh, T. Okay. Now, y'all got all these new people, all these new shows and stuff, honey. They say they don't need Nene to draw audience. They don't need Nene to draw no audience. But apparently, you know, Candy said now she is number one. Nene said she was number two. Well, back when she was number three or four, <laughs> when Nene was number one, she ain't there no more. But um, yeah, apparently they needed Nene to lead in to uh Candy's uh episode tonight because you know, apparently, mm -hmm, apparently, Candy ain't drawing no ratings, and who does draw the ratings? Who does? Can y'all guess who draws the ratings and she ain't even there? Y'all already know. Lanithia Monique Leaks, honey. She minding her own business. She working over there on her BET show, honey. People is dragging her, saying she had got the big head and she shouldn't be throwing shade. 
but who needs who? I am like appalled when I see all these things going on. And, and like we talked about in the last uh episode of ATL and Live, apparently Candy need her too because Candy had to bring up, you know, saying that Nene called her a C O N, and we still haven't found the receipts. I asked y'all for them receipts two days ago, and I know the candy coated click. If there was any receipts out there, they would have been sent it to me because I said, if y'all send me the receipts, I will apologize publicly. Ain't no receipts. I ain't seen nothing what Nene called candy no C double O N. Candy must have forgot she was over here watching the ATL and live show and she saw y'all in the comments calling her that. But I'm digressing because y'all know y'all be calling candy, candy coon, candy cruise, tap dancing candy. Auntie, Auntie Tom, <laughs> y'all be calling Candy all of that. Listen, I'm not, listen. I don't make the news. I just blog about it. And apparently, you know, the, the Candy Coated Click is pissed. Well, well, this is what Afia had told me. Shout out to Afia, honey. Afia said, "I was checking my DVR, honey, and I noticed that they are now trying to promote Candy Show under R H O A." It said R H O A presents Candy and the Gang or whatever it's called. They really trying it. Y'all remember when we was dragging Portia last season when we was like, how Portia, you know, she ain't got her own show. Portia is a commercial with her eight episode commercial up under the Real Housewives of Atlanta umbrella. So all of the people who have the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, on their DVR set to record is actually, are actually recording Portia and Portia's getting all the ratings. Well, y'all remember Candy came out and said, you know, my show is a spin off. I am not under an umbrella. We is standalone. We is candy and the game. We don't need the housewives umbrella. And they came in at what a dismal four point whatever, four point eight, four point nine, whatever the ratings was. And um, now all of a sudden, since they get them low ass ratings, what do they do? They lead in with the Real Housewives of Atlanta season whatever five four three two one whatever and then they put real housewives of atlanta presents candy in the game mm -hmm. y'all better sip that tea because they they is paying attention mm -hmm. so if the ratings go up this week it'll be because the real housewives of atlanta presented candy in the game <laughs> It will be presented. K Candy said her show wasn't right, Debrielle. Shout out to real bitches. Hey, y'all. Yes. So y'all know they don't need Nene, but they need Nene. They don't need the Candy don't need the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she need the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, they is press, 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 press. Oh, let me sip to that. You mm -hmm. <laughs> You said not to go. <laughs> Y'all want me to play some goats? I don't have no goats right now. But um, yeah, you said done one is watching. They need to be watching their show. What time they show come on? I don't even know. I don't watch it. Um, but we will we shall see. You know, if they trick people into recording candy show, you know that's gonna go into the number. And then we're gonna be like on, on Tuesday, we're gonna be like, what is the number? Candy, are you above 4.9? Mm-hmm. Am I trying to tear candy down? Or am I just calling it like I see it? Y'all don't want the truth. Y'all want me to sit here and lie to you and make it seem like everything is hunky dory and candy didn't go behind them ladies' back and tap dance to the executives and get everything she wanted and got a uh, uh, credit um producer credit on race in america when we already knew what race in america was like y'all want me to pretend that everything is all good listen okay i'm not tearing her down that's what i'm saying like i don't have nothing against candy and i don't know why y'all think i have anything against candy what i am is team truth i have always been team truth and ever since i was blogging on the blog i was typing 
just like this tip just just my laptop just typing saying what i thought people was getting mad at me for candy was getting mad at me for nini was getting mad at me for kim zosiak beerman was getting mad at me for Marlo was getting mad at me. Everybody was getting mad at me. Now I ain't been, da, 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 da. I've been running my mouth and they still mad. What you mad for? What you mad for? I don't have no bearing on the ravings, okay? I don't have no bearing on who like candy and who don't like candy. Y'all have eyes just like I have eyes. And I would not be a genuine, authentic OG blog goddess. A blog goddess. See, I'm not a blogger, okay? I'm not a blogger. I've been in this game 15, 16 years there. I done lost track. But I would not be an OG blog goddess with my crown on if I did not give y'all the real. Y'all want me to lie to you with pretty little pictures? Y'all want me to smooth it over and act like everything is okay? Y'all want me to say that candy isn't a tap dancer? Y'all want me to be okay with candy, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, dismissing Nene's claims of racism by going on a show and saying Nene said she was the highest paid paid housewife for several years. How can she be the highest paid housewife and claim racism? <sighs> Cannot two things be true at the same time? Cannot she be paid the highest and be a victim of racism cannot can can she not be a black woman who was making money who was still facing racism at her job i'm confused why is it that candy a black woman as well can sit there and tell another black woman how how racism affected her in her career can y'all explain that to me because as a black woman I could never do that. If you say it was racism, I'm going to be like, black power, black woman. I'm behind you. What they do? Are we ride? Are we riding together? Because, you know, them white folks, they be doing this. They be doing this stuff like this for years. No, with black women on the bottom of the totem pole, I will never as a black woman say that a black woman did not experience racism. And so when I saw that, I looked at her like, candy, for real? Candy. I had high expectations, Candy. Are you serious? Why would you? Why would you do that? I don't. <sighs> and so y'all get mad at me for calling it out, but I'm like, y'all be seeing the same thing I'm seeing, but y'all want to dismiss it. Y'all saying, oh, the ratings aren't going up, or that ratings not high because people is outside. The ratings not high because people don't have cable no more because they broke. First it was. With 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 uh Porsche, people are broke. They ain't got cable because you know it's the pandemic and everybody canceled their cable. Now with candy, people ain't got no cable because they you know they canceled their cable. And then it's like people are outside. The pandemic is over. People, <laughs> nobody watching candy. We got cable now, but we not watching because. And I'm like, y'all got all these excuses. Y'all got all these excuses, but could it be, could it possibly be that people are actually tired of uh, Bravo and NBC and the alleged accounts of racism that goes on there? And the fact of Candy going on a whole TMZ tirade saying that Nene called her a coon is another example of the situation. Like, where she called her that, we still ain't found it. I don't understand. I don't, I just, I just don't understand. Hmm. Hey y'all. Hey Leo. <sighs> you said the ratings are not high because the show sucks. Portia show was semi-entertaining. Yeah, our show was a little semi-entertaining. It's tax time. People have cable. <laughs> right. The pandemic isn't over just because you wanted to. In that, that song they used to sing on uh, TikTok. Mm-hmm. Candy cannot speak on someone else's experience. Okay, she cannot. And I don't understand. I saw that clip the other day, and I'm like, really, Candy? Did you did you just say that? <sighs> anyway, anyway, I'm digressing. I not I got all off topic in the first 15 minutes. You said they are on a smear campaign against Nene because they know she about to be back on our TV. Okay. They trying to use Nene's name to bring views. Could Nene sue Candy for defamation? She could. She could. But um, anyway, 
there's that was Nene trending again. I ain't been on today. She might have been. Uh, she tried to hurt Nene saying she called her that. Okay. I'm like, oh, MG, y'all remember the situation of Nene uh on Candy's tour when she was, you know, supposed to open up the tour with the little comedy situation. And during her comedy tour, I think she made a, a, a joke that was inappropriate. I can't remember what the joke was, but apparently, you know, she apologized. She went on live crying about it. And, you know, everybody was trying to drag her about that. Then Candy decided because she was being dragged about that, that she should be removed from the from opening for the escape tour. So it was like, okay, that's cool. But now you bringing up the same situation that she had got past pretty much, you know, the whole council cut culture or whatever and come up with this comb situation in the midst of Kanye West being, you know, tempor temporarily suspended from Twitter uh, when he called Trevor Noah a K-O-O-N. Y'all don't remember that? So why is it you on the heels of Kanye saying it, now you saying it? It just seems real contrived to me, okay? Real contrived. Uh, you said you over the candy and the Phaedra situation. Now, Thank you, Mary. It's 1,100 people in here, 1,300 people counting Facebook. Go ahead and click that like button or that thumbs up button or whatever button, the thumbs down if you want. Just click it for me, please, because it pushes me up in the algorithm and it helps me, okay? Can't keep a good woman down. Go Nene, okay? Mm -hmm. Am I on someone's payroll? Is you on someone's payroll, Anthony Sherman? Who is paying me? Y'all is paying me by being here. I get so sick and tired of that narrative. Why is it that I can't have an opinion that is totally my own? Google me. I have never, ever failed y'all. And the fact of I ain't never lied to y'all yet, you should know that I ain't going to lie to y'all now. Now. Anyway, um, look, 15 years in the game is a long time. Some of these other bloggers ain't able, okay? Uh, Candy wanted Nene to stay on. She was outruled. Girl, if you don't get off my line, when Candy wanted the Nene to stay on? Is she crazy? Both Fedra and Portia is trending right now. Fedra and Portia? Ooh, that was a troll. Okay, well, I let it go. SFTA is on the payroll, okay? I'm on SFTA's payroll. I'm on straight from the A payroll. Trademark straight from the A.com. <sighs> Anywho, you are right, Michelle. I am sick of Bravo and those housewives. I know. I'm just, look, I'm like, make it great again. Do something. Bring Fedra back. Bring somebody back. Even if you don't bring Nene back, do something. If you got rid of Nene, you got rid of Phaedra, you allegedly got rid of Portia, but I feel like Portia going to be back next season, so it don't matter. But you got rid of all these people that were entertaining Get rid of the whole cast and bring back a whole bunch of new people. That's what I think. Why is Candy still there? Why is Candy still there? But Cynthia gone. <laughs> if you're gonna keep all the, if you're gonna keep boring people, they may as well keep Cynthia. Am I lying? Am I lying? Y'all let me know. Do y'all think uh uh Candy should still be there? Press a one. If you think Candy should still be on the show despite all of uh, everything that's been going on and pr uh, press a five if you think she should have been gone a long time ago. Let me see. This You said they need a revamp. I agree. I, mean, I agree. Nene, Fedra, and Portia is the dream team. Okay. I, I'm with you. You said no lies detected. Okay. Now, you said five. Okay, I see some fives. I see some fives. Okay, you said she should have been gone. Oh, Carol said they should have kept her five, five. They, everybody saying she should have been gone, honey. She should have been gone. Listen, I'm not here to skew no opinions. I, listen, I love people who disagree with me. If y'all feel like, you know, Candy is the most entertaining housewife ever, I will let you have your say, honey. I will let you have your say. Now, speaking of Candy, y'all remember a few days ago, Candy was online and she basically uh, said she was shading, you know, the former people. She said, oh, this is the best season of Housewives ever. You know, she's she's Bravo's mouthpiece now. If you notice, Candy is the only housewife. You know, they got, what, five, six housewives or whatever. She's the only housewife who been doing interviews. It's like, 
whatever. Why we got to list the candy? Candy the boss now or whatever. But, you know, whatever. So Candy been doing all these interviews. Candy did an interview one time and she said the housewives are so great. And, you know, e you know, without it's even better without Cynthia and um, Portia. So Cynthia had, you know, caught wind of it. Cynthia caught wind of it. And, of course, you know, Candy doubled down. Mm-hmm. Candy doubled down and she said, you know, she um she explained herself. So we're gonna give her an opportunity to explain herself to her former alliance member. And I'm gonna pull it up for y'all. You know, we love we love a little receipt. Hold on, it's on uh Cynthia's Instagram. Let me pull it up. Instagram.com. If she ain't blocking this account, <laughs> Cynthia, I had to keep it. Look, they be blocking me. They don't want me to see. Why they don't want me to see? They keep blocking my fake accounts and stuff. Hold on. Now, um, hold on. Let me see. Seven. Hold on. I got to do this. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. I'll change the picture. Okay. Bam. There we go. Now I got to go to Cynthia Bailey. Instagram.com. Cynthia Bailey. Uh huh. There she go. So Cynthia, they was on. Uh, what were they on? The E Daily Pop Show or whatever. And uh, Cynthia was talking to Candy, and she said, um, "Hold on, where is it?" Oh, Cynthia heard through the grapevine that, that Candy was saying the next season of RHOA was gonna be fire, even though Cynthia wasn't on it. So Cynthia, um, Candy attempted to set the record straight we're gonna see what she said i ain't seen this either so i'm gonna let y'all watch it with me i love it when i do this hold on bam 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 let me make it big hold on i'm gonna go back pause turn on the sound let me put my um my um disclaimer up y'all already know what the disclaimer is say it along with me the copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting teaching scholarship and research i am commenting on this topic okay now we're gonna listen apparently mm -hmm. i thought you missed me i read in the blog uh -oh. friend, friend, <laughs> that you said that the season was gonna be better Without your girl, without Portia, please explain. Cause okay. I know, I understand clickbait. So mm -hmm. let them know how, how you ride for your girl over let, here. Listen, first of all, <laughs> when they told me, well, when I found out that Cynthia was not going to be with me, I was heartbroken. Right. Like, I was um, more hurt about you not being there than I think anybody that we've lost in the past. Thank you. But, um, friend, yes, friend, this <laughs> was a good year. <laughs> as a diss to you or Portia, right. you know, like coming into the season, I was really nervous because, uh -huh. you know, they are right. two people that have been very important to, you know, the se the series, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we've been around for a long time. Y'all been around, around, yeah. around for a very long time right. and I honestly did not know how I was going to do without you, Cynthia. Oh. I really didn't. Apparently, I thought you missed Now, all of a sudden, she didn't know how she was going to do it without, without her. But you know, Candy said, you know, it was good, honey. And here goes Cynthia kissing, but it was Cynthia's clickbait shade for me. <laughs> Candy said, This is the best season. Look, Portia and Cynthia are gone. We doing so much better without them. <laughs> Backpedaling. Okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever, Candy. Right. Anywho. Speaking of Cynthia Bailey, now Cynthia has been real, real insecure, real insecure when it comes to uh Mike, um, Mike Hill. And I'm like, they they've been married what one year, two years? I don't even know, but whatever case, when they got married, 2020, oh, 10, 10, 2020. So they did 2021, 20. So they almost on two years, right? They almost on two years. So apparently Cynthia uh is kind of insecure about their relationship and y'all remember a lot of people were saying that mike was cheating on her you know while she was in the big brother house they were saying you know mike had all these women around and blah 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 they don't understand how cynthia do it well cynthia actually um was on what was she on the wendy show 
the one well you know, listen it's the it's still the wendy show right now but she was on the wendy show and she actually spoke about feeling a ways about uh mike being around women okay and here is uh some of what was said it's the cynthia bella was the latest guest on the wendy show which was co-hosted by finesse mitchell and kim whitley okay while uh while there barely opened up about her stint on celebrity big brother and some of the things she went through while in the house on a separate note whitley questioned cynthia about recent recent comments she made regarding her marriage cynthia bailey is currently married to sportscaster mike hill the newlyweds married during the pandemic, but have been together for several years before that. That is not true. I don't know who wrote this, but they were not together several years before they got married. But I'm digressing. Uh, and they didn't meet on the Steve Harvey show. I think I told you where they met. They met on that episode with Claudia Jordan, a podcast that Mike Hill had with Claudia Jordan. They met there. And then a few months later, uh, Mike Hill was on uh the steve harvey show but you ain't heard that from me but i i'll talk about that in a minute anyway uh the pair hit it off and have been a match made in heaven ever since they based a large part of their relationship on transparency and their desire to keep it real for others this meant he'll kept it real when the pair had a bad anniversary and admitted that sometimes he has doubts if they make it to their second year of marriage i did a video about that because my kid was like i don't know if i'm gonna make it the year two for bailey this translated into her being honest about not wanting to bring attractive women into her home but then you bring you brought cute women when he had all his female friends over there they was cute or whatever anyway uh cynthia expressed that she wants no one attractive working for her not even her cleaning lady if this ain't low self-esteem and insecurity i don't know what it is <coughs> excuse me according to bailey there are already beautiful women on instagram who tempt her man and slide into his dms Y'all remember Mike got caught on Snapchat allegedly sending somebody pictures of his ding dong allegedly, but you know, we talked about that, but he said he didn't do it anyway. And she said he did. So, uh, Cynthia confesses that married women have it hard enough and she does not want anyone finer than her coming anywhere near her husband or her household. what is happening why this what i mean if you uh, okay i'm i'm feeling real bad for cynthia right now but anyway um she says i plan on keeping this man this is the second time around she said about mike <sighs> when it comes to protecting their marriage for some women there is no shortage of the things they would do celebrity women are especially vocal about what they would do to make sure they did not bring any temptation near their husbands cynthia bailey is the latest to join the fray of women who have decided the best way to keep their husbands faithful is to not bring anyone around him at all <laughs> what the hell how is it that you feel that not bringing women around him will stop him from cheating if there's a will there's a way it ain't nothing you can do about it said they barely it is nothing you can do about it he said drina said what about a trans woman look what about the gay boys what about uh, what about the barely boys oh my god i don't understand why is she so insecure Sick is cute like she said she don't want nobody finer than her that would be hard cynthia is a supermodel so it'll be hard to find anyone finer than you but apparently most men don't give a damn about people being finer than you know you know people, men gonna cheat men will cheat with the the, the girl who work at target or something I mean, he don't care <laughs> if he's a cheater he's gonna cheat cynthia belly if he's a cheater he is going to cheat I don't understand 
why she would even say this publicly. I would have kept all that to myself. I really would have. You said the belly boy. Who won't Mike anyway? Listen, clearly the only thing a woman got to do is do reverse cowgirl because she you know, Cynthia said that that's the one thing that she hates about their relationship is reverse cowgirl. And it's like, girl, you didn't put your... You didn't put, Put your insecurities on display. You didn't put your weaknesses out there to the public. Now they know what sexual act you won't do <laughs> that he likes. This is too merch. This is too merch. I don't understand. I don't understand. Whatever the case, you said supermodel. What she was? She was in essence and essence and um. She was in essence. And she was on um, Essence. And then there was that time she was like, she was in the Sears catalog and she was in Essence. So yeah, Cynthia's a supermodel. <laughs> Cynthia's beautiful. You cannot, you cannot take that away from her. You cannot take that away from her. Anywho, anywho. Now let me go on and move on to uh Cynthia Bailey child. Let me I mean not Cynthia Bailey. I'm back with Candy. We didn't flip flop from Candy to 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 Nene to Cynthia. Let me go on, on to Phaedra. Y'all seen Phaedra lately? Where is Phaedra? Have y'all seen Phaedra? Phaedra got her a whole new look. Phaedra got boobs. Well, she always had the booty. You know, Phaedra had a donkey booty. That's what she had called it. But Phaedra had changed her look, honey. Phaedra got her Nene Leaks wig. <laughs> Phaedra is looking good. Phaedra said, y'all can't tell her nothing. Phaedra is getting ready for her TV debut. And look at Phaedra. She all greased up and everything. She all shiny legs looking good, honey. A little stubby legs. You know, her legs ain't but like, look, three inches long. <laughs> But you know the pictures make her look tall. The pictures make her look tall. Then she bringing back the Southern Belle. I'm thinking that Phaedra is preparing for a return to the show. You know she gonna be on that um, Housewives Ultimate Girls trip. Y'all remember that? And apparently, you know Bravo been airing the first season of Ultimate Girls Trip on Bravo because you know they rating slow so they using Peacock stuff on Bravo to, now even though they had turned it down at first so apparently you know season two of uh, the Ultimate Girls Trip is going to be on Peacock but then eventually it's going to end up on Bravo which in turn I think it's going to lead to Phaedra Parks possibly coming back to the show now, here go Phaedra, honey. Look at Phaedra. She is all greased up and stuff. Legs all shiny everything. Look at her. She looks good. She said she could do this for hours and hours and hours. Shout out to Muni Long. And look, she, look, Phaedra got her a blue wig too, honey. She got her a blue wig. Phaedra says she is not going to be tied to the restraints of regular colored hair. She is going blue, purple, pink, or green. It does not matter. And in her caption, she said, do we have a problem? Do you have a problem with Phaedra's blue hair? <laughs> I do. I don't like it, but whatever. Okay. Shout out to Phaedra. She looks amazing. She looks amazing with her blue hair, with her blonde hair or whatever. Phaedra says she is um, living her best life. She looks amazing. Look, she looks tall right there. Y'all know Phaedra is not but five feet two. She is not but five feet one or something like that. But um, it looked like Phaedra got some body work. That's what somebody was saying the other day. They was like, Michelle, did Phaedra get some body work? I was like, I don't know. What you think? You think she got some body work done? I look like she just bought a new wig. I think she just bought a new wig. And they was like, no, look at this. And so I was looking at the video. So look at this video. Look how her breasts in up. I was like, maybe she bought her a new bra. Because her breast is like to her chin right now. <laughs> Y'all see Phaedra. Y'all see Phaedra in her pink. Phaedra look good. Whatever this is, she at the dentist or whatever. But Phaedra looking good. Phaedra ready for her return. She get look. She getting her teeth cleaned and everything. She gonna be uh, camera ready in a few days <laughs> with her new breastesses. Okay, now look at these pictures right here. Y'all tell me if y'all think maybe she did, maybe she did, maybe it's just a new bra, maybe it's a brazier. We don't know. We don't know. But it is. They looking kind of. I don't know. I don't know. 
Phaedra looking kind of good. You said, Michelle, bring Peter on the show. Haven't seen him in a while. Peter said he was coming. She said she was coming. You said, I'm lazy. How I'm lazy, child? Girl, yeah. I don't know. I'm with Cynthia. I wish I would have had a Portia Williams looking like uh, being my damn <laughs> What? <sighs> anyway, but she looks amazing. That being said, with Phaedra looking amazing, you got Candy over there hating on her for Phaedra looking amazing. You remember um, Candy and Phaedra was the freaking frat before Phaedra and Portia was freaking frat. Y'all remember that back in the day? I don't know. Let me know. Y'all remember when Portia and Phaedra was friends? <sighs> anyway, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. I'm about to pull. I'm about to pull up some pictures. Phaedra, Candy. Mm hmm. They was friends. Hold on. Where where the pictures at? Okay, they go. They go. Candy and Phaedra. I see that. Okay. Don't ask me what's in my cup. Um, back in the day, okay, you know, I got to go online to find pictures. That's an old picture. I want to find the picture when they was at the, um, at the strip club. I can't find it. Anyway, I'll just show this one. Hold on. Share screen. Phaedra and Kent. See, look, they was friends. Look, they was friends. Look at Candy was right there. Phaedra was right there. Look at Toya. Look, this was they was friends. They was always friends. Um, hold on. This was me and me and um me and Fedra at tags. They was friends. They was always friends. Look, this is Fedra at the um at the mother's love. Um, what was this? <laughs> From the mother's love play. They go Fedra right there. So they was friends. Phaedra was always supportive of Candy, and Candy was always supportive of Phaedra. They're going to me and Candy, child. Um, but that being said, Candy is still throwing shade. Y'all know what? Listen, <sighs> Phaedra is one of the people who holds a grudge just like Candy. But unlike Candy, Phaedra takes action with her grudges. So Phaedra was doing little stuff behind the scenes. You know, she a lawyer and all that stuff. And she know how to get people to manipulate people to do certain things. So again, she had, you know, she put a little birdie in um in Portia ear. And then Portia, you know, spilled the tea about, you know, what they thought Candy was trying to do to her. Even though Portia and Candy had kissed in the nightclub. It was just a whole big to do. Well... I don't understand why Candy is still in her feelings about Phaedra, but she has allegedly forgiven Portia. Why is that when Portia was the one who said it on air? The only thing that Phaedra did was this. <laughs> that was all Phaedra did. I don't understand. So now um, Candy is saying, hold on, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to pull it up when, uh, when Candy said about Portia. Hold on. I mean about Phaedra. Hold on, Candy. I love y'all. I really do. I really, really, really do. So, um, where is it? Oh no, that's not it. Here it is, right here. She said, um, if if Fedra was to return to the show that she would exit the franchise. Now, first of all, it's not the first time she says this. It's not the second time she said this. And I'm like, how many times she got to say this? We believe you, Candy. We really, we really believe you. <laughs> so why is it that you bring this up now? Is it because the ratings are low? Is it because, you know, people are, you know, now paying attention to to Fedra, uh, you know, they're anxiously anticipating her return on the Real Housewives of Atlanta girls trip. Like, why is it that you bringing up Fedra? The same way we was questioning why she bringing up Nene. I don't understand. I don't understand. Hold on, somebody call me. I'm on live, honey. Okay. You said Candy ain't leaving if Fedra comes back, especially after those horrible rapes. You already know Fedra is, I mean, Candy is not going nowhere. And, you know, we already pulled her financial situation stuff and she she ain't going nowhere, child. Fedra can come back. Candy is not going nowhere. She probably pitch a fit, but she is not going nowhere. So um, here is what Candy said about 
Fedra. And that's my 13th season. Ooh. Well, when it come out, that'll be season four. Let me rewind. Damn. Finish season 14. That's my 13th season. Ooh. Well, when it come out, that'll be 13 seasons for me. So I said, as long as they rocking with me, I'm going to rock with them because it's still like I'm still able to do other things I'm passionate about. So it's not like it's stopping me from doing nothing else. You know what I mean? Yeah. What if they brought Phaedra back? Would you still be on the show? No. Oh, that's it. Then you're out of there. I mean, it's, it's just like, I just don't think she and I need to interact. You know what I mean? I'll let her do her thing. When they decide to do that, then, you know. <laughs> let her do then you'll, thing. Okay, you'll be like, okay, I'm out of here. Yeah. It's nice knowing y'all. <laughs> 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 you, you better choose up and choose. It's not even about making nobody make the choices because she's on, you know, other shows or whatever. So I'm like, no, but they said that thing. the rumors were like she wants to come back, you know. I don't know what she want to do. We ain't talk. Yeah. And you don't, and you know, and, and that, that, that one, that situation is not fixable. It's no, it's here. not fixable. No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you know what? Phaedra is tricky. <laughs> <laughs> like the show title is tricky. <laughs> Finish. <sighs> and he said he wants Phaedra. Everybody wants Phaedra. You said there go that laugh again, child. Candy still playing the victim, I guess. I guess. But if the people want Phaedra, Phaedra is going to be back. Mm -hmm. You said look at the BuzzFeed article. Hold on. Let me go see. BuzzFeed. What about it? What article? What did it say? I'm on BuzzFeed now. Let me see. Uh, uh, which article is it? What's the name of it? Is it uh, about candy? What is it about? Buzzfeed. Hold on. Is this it? Oh, okay. Candace said, okay, I ain't seen this article. Hold on. We about to read this together. I haven't seen this. When we sign these contracts, we give up our right to complain behind the scenes of the Real Housewives with Candy Burris. Child, why is we reading this? I'm just going to read it. Okay, I'm just going to read it because y'all told me to read it. This y'all show <laughs> sometimes when I feel like it. Oh, gosh. I'm going to leave a picture up just for y'all, but I'm going to read the article, okay? Hold on. Um, let me put a different tab so I can read it. Uh, 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 okay. It says, the songwriter of hits for Destiny's Child and Pink didn't know if reality TV was for her. Over a decade later, she's one of the highest paid castmates. Is it still worth it? Child, this is long. You want me to read all this? This is long. It would look like a good article, though. Let me see what else she was saying. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you want me to read the whole thing? Let me see what y'all saying. Candy needs to stop. <sighs> you see it coming. Candy clean your restaurants. <laughs> did you see the comments on the blog? Everyone said, bye, Candy. They did. They did. Is that a Louis Vuitton Vladimir? <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. <sighs> okay. Okay. Candy pulled up. Did she pull up her purse just to show it? You said Candy is so roped in by Bravo. She probably can't leave if Fedra returns. Okay. Well, there's that. Please don't read the whole thing. Just skim through it. Okay, I'll just skim through it. Let me see what it say. Okay. I'm scrolling up. I'm trying to see the hot points. Okay. Uh, since then, Housewives has become a juggernaut, especially in Atlanta, which has constantly garnered Bravo's highest ratings. The show thrives on drama and exposing intimate details about its castmates. And Burris has put a lot of those details on the table. Where? What? Candy don't tell us nothing. We don't chat by. Um, 
they say endlessly defending her mom's antics. That's about her mom. That's not about her. <laughs> Processing the sudden death of her fiance. That was 10 years ago. That's not about her. And finding love with an Atlanta production manager who's now her husband. That was about five, six, seven years ago. What about now? But she's also weathered some of the darkest allegations ever lobbed at someone in the franchise, which is saying a lot when others have faked cancer. Well, um, KKK uh, K K Kim did fake cancer, but there's that. Um, Burris's openness and controversies has made her one of the longest lasting and most compelling characters. <laughs> In the Bravo universe, how much did she pay for this article? Who said Candy is one of the most compelling characters in the Bravo universe? Wait a minute. She's in a league with women like Bethany Frankel and Lisa Vanderpump who branched out from... Okay, let me just keep going. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, they, she put Jamie Ziegler in here, honey. It includes a Bravo publicist plus Burris's own camera toting social media manager, Jamie, who was documenting her day for content in her right hand in real life on the show, Done One. Blah, 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 blah. I recognize both Ziegler and Done One from their squabbles with Atlanta castmate Portia Williams. And if the mix of personal and professional seems somewhat exhausting to outsiders, Burris acknowledges there's a blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. <sighs> okay, I'm still scrolling. I'm trying to find something interesting. Um, I'm seeing what y'all saying in the comments. Kim, Sheree, and Nini are the most iconic. Okay, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, um, Aquarius. <sighs> Let me see. She said she had been happy staying in the background, writing from everyone from Mariah Carey to Justin Timberlake and chilling in Atlanta when she and Tiny Harris tried to shop a reality show. Candy wasn't picked up as a castmate when Tiny and Toya was brought to BET in 2009, but that same week she heard from Derek J. Hey, Derek, about Real Housewives. Yeah, I don't think I'd fit in with those girls, she said. I'm going to tell them to call you anyway, he insisted. She interviewed with the show's then-producer Princess and joined the cast with the assumption it would be a low-stakes side project for her. By the next week, she was already filming. I'm thinking I'll just go on the show and have fun, Burris said. After an on-camera fight with her mom, first day of taping, I was crying. Child, let me scroll up so y'all can see some of these pictures. <sighs> I can't believe y'all got me reading this. Do you see how long this article is? Look at look at Candy and Escape. Y'all see now? <laughs> Hold on. They said that was in 1993, honey. 1993. Going through the history books. I'm way down here now. There go Candy. She said uh, in her hotel in Manhattan in between interviews promoting her new show. I told y'all Candy is the only person uh, interviewing. Now, um, let me finish reading what it says. <sighs> Real Housewives debuted before Love and Hip Hop or Basketball Wives. That new genre of docu-soaps focus on women seemingly living their lives on camera. Blah, 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 blah. Atlanta's first seasons were dominated by Nene Leakes. A stay-at-home mom with a big personality and acting ambition and her fuse with Sheree Whitfield, a former NFL wife with fashion aspirations, and Kim Zosiak, the random white woman dating a wealthy married man she called Big Papa. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it was good back then. Okay. Uh, Candy said a lot of people said negative things from the first season. Burris recall, recalled, you shouldn't join that show. It makes black women look bad. But Burris wasn't intimidated by the dynamics. I was just like, if you feel like they're making us as black women look bad, but you think I'm a good representation of black women, why wouldn't you want me on the show? Girl, okay. Most housewives are seduced with a selfish edit on the first season, and perhaps so was Burris. Producers showcased her family dynamics with her daughter, Riley, fiance, AJ, and her complicated but very deep bond with her mama. Mama Joyce, 
an old school protective mom, as Burris put, puts it. At the time I was engaged to AJ, my mama didn't like him, Burris recalled. And on the first day of taping, she went in on me. <sighs> Candy mama didn't like nobody, though. Candy mama didn't like AJ. Candy mama didn't like Todd. Okay, anyway, let's continue. I'm still scrolling. Uh, that's about her mom. That's about her mom. Uh, the first season, Burst also learned how hard it is to relive life events. Well, she learned that the first season. That's why I guess she don't tell nobody now anything now. By the fourth season, Burris had met her now husband, Todd Tucker. See, that's what I'm saying. They brought all that stuff up. That was, we on season 14. You talking about 10 years ago. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Men are supposed to be the providers. Mama Joyce told Tucker in one episode, and I do provide, he insisted, I provide love, happiness, and stability. Mama Joyce retorted, you go down to light the gas lights and say, I have stability. They're not going to take that. I feel like you're an opportunist. Okay, whatever. Yada, 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 yada. Here go Candy again. Candy in front of a, a sign promoting her new show. <sighs> okay, let's continue. Um, I don't see nothing good. Um, producers often stretch the, stretch out the miscommunications, so they become games of telephone on steroids. That's what happened in 2007 when a scandal engulfed Burris's, Burris during the show's ninth season. It would become one of the darkest feuds of the franchise. It started when two castmates were annoyed at Burris. Portia Williams, who divorced former NFL player Cordell Stewart on the show, accused Burris of gossiping about her relationship with a former paramour and Phaedra Parks, a Southern Bell lawyer felt that Burris wasn't sympathetic enough during her tumultuous divorce and accused her of allegedly spreading stories that Parks was already dating as well. If slut shaming is one of the weapons used by castmates, queer shaming is another. William started claiming Burris was a lesbian, but without stating it to her face, I just want to know perpetual friend of Marlo axed full of mock shock during a glamping trip on the show candy are you a lesbian you saying please stop go down to the meat you're getting closer go down further okay let me keep going where is the meat then look look how long this is tell me when to stop uh while both parks and williams both finally apologized during the reunion Burris told me at the time she considered quitting. I was devastated. She said, I remember I just cried. Ultimately, Parks exited the franchise after the fiery reunion. When reached for comment, Bravo didn't speak on its handling of the incident or why Parks was fired. Many viewers erroneously believed the producer, Carlos King, was fired or left because of the brouhaha. He said the timing was coincidental. He said. He Okay, anyway, y'all get that. Burris herself offered that she never believed King was involved. He said the timing was co coincidental. But you see, Bravo didn't comment on that. So anyway, listen, he's done a lot of things that pissed me off. But that right there, I do not believe he ever told her that. Yeah, Candy, whatever. <sighs> okay, the controversy helped make the reunion the highest rated show on the network. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, let me see. You said stop. Everybody said stop. Okay, we got it. Stop. My ears, please stop. Michelle, stop. We ain't promoting. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what a meat and potato. Okay, there go somebody talking about Nene right now. Still, the reality industry as a whole has been dogged by accusations of racism and exploitation. In 2020, fellow castmate Nene Leaks called for a boycott of Bravo. Shout out to the squad for creating that boycott. Both Leeks and Mariah Huck from Married to Med Medicine lobbed allegations that the network's use of black women in front of the scenes did not lead to equality behind the scenes. When Black Lives Matter protests put social justice front and center that year, questions about diversity bubbled up and led to cash shakeups. I did, ugh, here go Candy, I did a whole letter to the network telling them that I wanted to see more diversity in executive leadership, Burris said, basically telling them to hire more Black-owned production companies like hers and to just make sure there's more diversity. 
and it was heard and they did start implementing some of the things that I asked for. We know that, Candy. We already know. Burris has a great relationship with the network and has pitched her own shows to Cohen from the start. When Reach for coming about her and why she's such a great castmate, Cohen emailed through a Bravo spokesperson. Candy is fun, smart, likable, opinionated, energetic, beautiful, and unafraid to speak her mind. Okay, come through Candy Cruz. Come through Candy Cruz. We get it. <sighs> Anything else I need to read? Um, um, y'all say y'all still boycotting. Okay. Shay and Clay said <laughs> she sleep. Uh, can't trust Candy. Needed, needed is good without this email. I see Sam sell you like y'all so wrong. I'm still scrolling. I ain't trying to read all this. Blah, 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 blah. I don't, okay, whatever. Okay, what else? What else? What else? We know she lied. Okay, Williams and Cynthia Bailey both left the franchise amid rumors of cast shakeup. During our interview, as we were talking about Bailey, often seen as the boring one on the show, Burry mentioned that she's done a lot, and I feel like people don't give her credit. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm done. Is that what you wanted me to see? Is that what you wanted me to see? I don't, I just, uh, you said, <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all let me know. Lee Factor in the past. Okay. Candy paid for the interview. See him share the cliff notes. Okay. You skipped the meat. It talked about what their contracts, uh, contracts. Okay. Hold on. Let me go see. <sighs> I was scrolling. I see. Let me let me do a search for the word contract. Okay, okay. One, two. Hold on. I want to see about the contract. Big old contract. Burris understands and sounds resigned about the Faustine bargain of reality TV. When we sign these contracts, we pretty much give up our right to complain. Maybe the resignation is also because she's reaped some of the biggest spoils to be. I don't see what cough up. We I read that part. Hold on, let me see another contract. Still, it's been reported that contracts at Bravo have become more and more specific about the kind of dramatic labor required to stay on the shows. Bravo didn't contract didn't come in on this contract. Newer castmates could potentially get cut out of episodes and paychecks if they don't have compelling storylines. Burris sees those clauses as security for the networks. <laughs> for people who try to skate by and try not to share their lives, if you knew they cut your butt out of an episode and you wanted that coin, let me go on the show and show them this is my boyfriend over here, y'all, she explained. So basically she's saying like all the fake boyfriends that Kenya had and Cynthia had, so Candy looking out for the network. Okay, come on, come through tap dancer. Well, that's all. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Candy looking out for her balls. <laughs> Are you mad that Candy's looking out for the balls? She been looking out for the balls. <laughs> I am so done. I have ran my mouth so much. Okay. I have ran my mouth so much. I talked about Candy. Did I talk about everybody I was supposed to talk about? Let me see. Oh no, I talked about candy. I talked about uh Cynthia calling candy out. I talked about Cynthia's situation with um Mike Hill, and I talked about Nene being used by bro. I talked about everything. Okay. So uh yeah, I would love to hear from you guys on uh what I talked about today. If you would like to chime in, right? You can never win when you play dirty. Uh, I was right. Kenny will do anything to keep that check, honey. But my thing is, candy is married to Todd, what drama is she bringing to the shop? I'm confused because she's saying that these people shouldn't be lying about their storylines like she's sitting there as the overseer or something like she's cracking the whip. I'm in my feelings about that and I don't even work now. Anyway. Yes, you're going to have to rewind D.L. Shuler. You is late. You're going to have to rewind. I didn't spill so much tea in this live. Uh, click the link to join. I would love to hear what y'all have to say about this. Look, I love people who disagree with me. If you agree with me, great too. Uh, I know there are plenty of people who feel a way to our team uh, candy coated click, but um, I don't know how y'all could deny what's right in front of your face. Hold on. I'm about to excuse me, pin this link. Let me pin the link for y'all. 
Sierra Conte said, oh my God, yes, honey. She acts like a damn overseer. I'm still on the fact of her saying that racism didn't exist at Bravo and you diminishing what somebody else said about it. Like how you know they didn't experience racism. <sighs> but I digress. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Oh, Candy Cruz. My my question to you, Michelle, is how many, like, for how long are we going to talk about her and Phaedra? I don't know. My thing is, why is she bringing her back up? Did she already That's say what I'm now? saying. Like, I feel like I, the closer that Phaedra gets to getting a better relationship with Andy and the network, um, then Candy brings this back up again. It's like every year... She get, she goes and does an interview and she declares, if Phaedra come back, I'm leaving. I'm not going to work with Phaedra. I'm this. I'm that. Every year, it's like a, a, an interview clip goes viral on her saying she don't want to work with Phaedra. Like, we get it. If I were her, I would tell my publicist or I'd tell my assistant to tell whoever is interviewing her or the podcast or whatever that no Phaedra questions. It's like, how many years has it been? They're going into their 14th season. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to lie, because I could be objective. I can understand why she wouldn't want to work with Phaedra. I mean, that was, it was some serious stuff. But at the same time, it's like you, it did, even though it was a really serious accusation, it did wonders for her career. She's still leveraging the lie. And, and then they, she had the dungeon tour. That's She's what I'm saying. Yeah. Associated with that. So it's like, how did it really affect you if you're benefited from it financially and career wise? She leveraged the lie. She did the dungeon tour. She did the dungeon reunion last year. She's the highest paid. She never gets, she's never on the chopping block. She's always controlling her narrative she they feel pressure to go on youtube and talk about the show and it's very clear that she's been getting compensated and now she has this show it's like it she really did um turn lemons into lemonade but it's like for how many more years like phaedra phaedra like we get it we understand mm -hmm. and she hasn't had a storyline since phaedra left mm -hmm. <laughs> that's True. the thing the only last thing um, that was interesting was seeing her and Portia interact after everything went down. I think it was like, what, season 10? Mm -hmm. after the, like the aftermath of it all. But other than that, it's like, but I think it, for her, it's more like, it's they have, because they do have a long history. She has like a personal vendetta that like, <laughs> really doesn't like her. You know, and Phaedra, every time she gets asked about it, she's like, well, you know, me and Andy Cohen, we're such good friends. And I've been asked to come back on the show multiple times. And I think even Carlos King had said that they've asked him to come back. And every time he gets asked about the situation, he's like, well, I don't have anything to do with it, whatever. It's just I don't understand why every year it's a headline. Candy and Phaedra, Candy and Phaedra. You know, it's just, I don't know. And Cynthia, I know Cynthia Bailey is trying to stay relevant, trying to stay in the media, but ciao, Cynthia. Cynthia, why? Why are you talking about Mike and you, your, your marriage, your relationship? It's like you're not on the show no more. Like, yeah, really, like, what is, why we got to hear about Mike and his relationship and how, you know, insecure she is about the relationship and she don't want no women around. Okay, we don't care. Child. And then he thinks he now is a public figure and he's explaining himself. It's like, mm -hmm. mm, from the get-go, though, if she was just way too thirsty, like, hashtag chill and 10 10 20 it's like we've seen it cynthia you're just trying to stay you know in the search engine at this point but it's too much cynthia you really you're not on the show but maybe and you know how when kenya left the show candy was campaigning for kenya to come back like oh 
she has a baby now. We all wanted to see her married with a child. So she found a way to get her back. Mm -hmm. I think that's what Candy's doing now is she's trying to, oh, I miss Cynthia. Oh, or, or well, now she's trying to sell the show like the show is good without them. But mm -hmm. I think once the show is done and they're about to film like maybe season 15, she's gonna be com campaigning to bring her back. Ooh. Especially if Portia comes back, I think she would want the Alliance to get back together. Because Candy, you know Candy and Kenya are not about to fall out. Right. Because you know Kenya is uh, scared of Candy. But she might want that Alliance to come back because you know, you know how they operate, Michelle. You know what? Uh, it's funny how I'm, I'm, I went and looked on the trends. And what's trending over here on me, on mine, is uh, Phaedra and R-H-O-A. <laughs> Phaedra's trending? Yes. Not Candy now. Phaedra and R-H-O-A. Hold on. Let me put it up here so y'all don't think I'm lying. People love Phaedra. I mean, Phaedra was Look, really... Side. Phaedra uh, made really good R -H -O -A TV. R-H-O-A is trending. Below Dick. Oh, well, maybe not. I thought I saw Phaedra. I did see Phaedra a little while ago. Now it's this. That's the top. What I mean, you know Phaedra, how? people love Phaedra. People, uh -huh. Phaedra, she was funny. She was shady. She would, you know, her confessionals were legendary. I mean, Phaedra made some good TV. And she's the name that constantly gets brought up like, oh, is Phaedra coming back? Oh, every year, Phaedra, Phaedra, Phaedra. But it's like as long as Candy is there, it's I don't think it will ever happen. Maybe they'll put her. I mean, they got that Housewives uh, Peacock show coming up. But listen, unfortunately, I don't think she'll ever come back. Even though that would be, I mean, can you imagine like a season six ca uh, cast in 2022? What that would look like? That type of season? I cannot. When they were in their prime, but I don't know, Candy, girl. I mean, but she she got the best. She's the spokesperson at this point. She really is. I mean, because nobody else is speaking. But yeah, there's that. Well, I appreciate you, uh, Mickey. Thank you, Michelle. Have a good night. All right, you too. Hold on, y'all. Lola Duncan. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I just want to make a point. When Candy did that interview with the lady, she had on an outfit. And then she had on the same outfit when she was talking to Cynthia. So is she still using Cynthia, like Cynthia said, for clickbaits? Because how is that the fact that you have on the, the outfit in the same two different interviews? Because she probably did it on the same day. Yeah, so that means she called Cynthia to let Cynthia know, you think? What, about the interview? Wait a minute. When she told, what she said about... When she uh, said that that Cynthia and, and Portia, the, the, the show was better off without them? She had on that yes, same outfit? Yes, ma'am. Did she? Yes, ma'am. Look at it. That was with rock topics, right? Or was exactly. It? And then she had on the same exact one when she was sitting next to Lonnie talking to Cynthia. How was that? I don't know. Good question. Yeah. And then another thing, the reason why she don't want Phaedra to come back, because she know Apollo and Phaedra get together and tell all their business and the truth about her and Todd. That's why. It has nothing to do with that alleged dope scandal and saying, because she never said that she wouldn't sleep with Portia or she wouldn't have sex with Portia. The only thing she was mad about was the alleged dope that she supposedly doped her up in order to get her. So I don't think she wants Phaedra to come back because of that part. Um... And that's about it. I just find it oddly strange that she had on that same outfit. If you can, go look it up and you see and then you draw a conclusion on that. Okay, I will. All right. I appreciate you calling, Lola. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your entertainment. I love right. you, ma'am. Thank you. Good night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hello, Barbara's Dean. Hey, Michelle. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? You hearing me good? Yes. Oh, yes, I'm on my new laptop tonight. I got a gateway, so. All right. Um, <clears throat> I think Candy, they're doing this, this campaign of talking about Nene, 
especially talking about Nene, talking about in it. The thing you just read, a whole entire dialogue of everything happened for the last 13 years. Why? Because Candy raised him some more, and and you need people talking about him. And you remember uh-huh. when we was you remember when we was um talking about um Candy show being a standalone and Portia show being the lead in. Mm-hmm. Now now what they doing? Like you say, they got um Candy show. I mean, Real House of Atlanta being the lead into Candy show the same way Portia was. I know I'm using the wrong words. But um, but basically now they got to put them. Now they got to put Real Housewives of Atlanta first, and then do Ken. And then you know that she put on there that they're gonna have some way to have season one, two, and three gonna be back to back or something. Did you what? see that? You know I don't pay attention to, to Bravo like that. I just you know come on. Well, y'all read that somewhere. I think it put be one, two, and three supposed to be done back to back tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, they put they're doing everything that I'm um, to get Ken some ratings. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. That it was already being it already aired earlier today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the thing with Portia, um, uh, I think um, Candy, I don't think Candy actually forgave Portia. I think Candy's still mad about that, but. You remember when Portia was pregnant and Candy was going after Portia and Nene and Cynthia knew and it was like got a word because Candy been coming after Portia and, and not knowing Portia was pregnant. I believe Candy had to forgive Portia because she made a fool out of herself saying Portia would run up and fight some people. Ain't no way she pregnant and fighting people that know it. So I don't think she forgive her. I think she let it go because that made her look crazy. Okay. And, and I think that about it. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Barb. You welcome. All right. Good night. Hold on. Take one more call, then I'm gonna head over to Patreon. Hey, Latisha. Hey. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Good, girl. Um, I wanted to say, Candy is boring. I'm in Illinois, and everybody I talk to about the show know that candy boring they say it all the time we don't know why they keep her on the show um <laughs> second yeah for real secondly um um i'd rather see riley and 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 uh mama joyce than to <laughs> see than to see candy no i'm serious and and it's why like so hard on candy? Like, see, people be making it seem like it's me but it be y'all no it, it, we we feel the same way we we tired of her she don't bring nothing to the show. Oh, um, I mean, only thing she brings to the show is like, okay, she got businesses, okay, and look how her business doing. You, you, you can't even feed the people, right? You getting people sick with all this uh, pink ice and all that. That's all she bringing to the show is that she's a black woman and has businesses and doing well for herself. Fine, we we know that now. We don't need fourteen seasons of that. We see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just we we're tired of her and. And her bad outfits and all that, you know, she's been dressing a little bit better, but you know, she don't dress, she don't dress like she rich, you know. But anyway, I digress on that too. How rich people be dressing? I, girl, they have labels on, like like Nene a dress like stuff from off the runway, or you know, or um like like the Beverly Hills people, they dress, you know, they dress real good, and 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 people from uh, Potomac dress real good. You know, I'd rather watch Potomac than than Housewives of Atlanta, especially since Portia ain't on there no more. If Portia ain't on there. I don't really want to watch it. Okay, I really don't because they need somebody to get Kenya together because she acts a plum fool for that little bitty change. And I, don't, girl, I I got a whole thing about Kenya. I don't even want to talk about her because, girl, it it, it it raises my pressure. For real. Mm. So I don't even want to talk about her and her fake marriages and everything, her fake marriage and her fake men she paid. And I think Cynthia paid um, Mike. I think Cynthia paid Mike to be her husband on the show. And now that she ain't on the show, it ain't working out all of a sudden. Come on now. You knew who he was before you married him. That's why you was looking in the book and everything, because you didn't want it to come out about him cheating. So you already knew who he was before you married him. And and now that you know you married him because of the show, now the show ain't on no you ain't on the show no more. All of a sudden y'all marriage is dissolving. It really ain't it it ain't it ain't working right because you paid that man. And I believe it. When when um she asked Eva about it, I believed it then. You know, when Eva, I was supposed to pay Mike to be with 
me, yeah. I, I was saying, I was talking to the TV like, yeah, you did. <laughs> now, with your fake cheeks. Because that's what, what it was, felt like. It was with like that fake was... cheeks, you always bringing them cheeks up. Go ahead. You said what now? She was in no. too much of a hurry to be in a relationship because remember she was with Will yeah. Jones first, and I look, I exposed that as a fake, but that's a whole nother. And story. everybody's and seen it. it. That happened yeah. right on the show. Yeah, you know about that man. And my thing was, um, she 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 had to keep her spot on the show by getting married. That's the only way she can keep that spot because I'm telling you, Where she's you so were? boring. I could I could fall asleep to Cynthia seriously. Her candy need to be gone. I'm tired of Kenya now and all her antics. She need to be gone. She talked about the people marriages. She tried to she tried to mess with Apollo. And I still don't believe. I still don't, girl. I go on rant when I talk about this. I still don't believe that um that what Apollo said it was fake. I think Kenya paid Apollo because he needed some commissary and he needed um money to to start his life when he get out of jail. I think she paid Apollo to say that she it was all fake because Candy read the text right in front of us on camera. So she I did say some listen, stuff. Listen, y'all know I, I talked to Apollo, but that's neither here nor there. He, this didn't come out of his mouth. But I was there that night when he apologized to Kenya. I was at bar one that night. And I know for a fact, Phaedra was supposed to be there. Phaedra, mm. her, you know, produ producers were like setting her up or whatever. Mm. And when she heard that Apollo was there, she turned around. And I feel mm. like Apollo was just trying to get at Phaedra to like stick it to her. By that too. That to too. On, on camera. Because that was before mm -hmm. he went to prison. You know, mm -hmm. they were going through what they was going through. Phaedra mm -hmm. wasn't supporting him, you know. And so, yeah, I feel like he did that to like embarrass her. I think that too, but I, I believe he talked to Kenya before um before the taping and and yeah. and and Kenya came to him yeah. and said, Well, you're going to jail and I'm and I need to clear my name. You know, she wanted to have a different kind of character th that season. So she uh -huh. had to clear her name and try to make it like it was all a lie. No, Ken, we seen you ask that woman for a threesome. We seen you ask them for a threesome. You know, we seen you push them in a the pool. We seen that. You, you, you a whore. You whore, basically. And I'm so happy they changed her makeup. Cause baby, she she was looking like clay, dark clay. So I'm glad they changed her makeup too and, and made her look better this season. Thank God for that. Thank God. But you know, I, I, I told you I could go on the whole thing about Kenya. I can't stand her. And I can't and she make people black women look bad because you on TV clowning for that little bitty money. And that's why Andy treats you like that. Treat everybody like that because he think he can he can you know make uh black women be clowns on TV. So I don't I don't I don't like Kenya. I don't like nothing about her. And she kept on just like Candy when Candy when Candy doing something like she lying or something. She get the crying, or she wants you to believe her narrative. She get the crying and and talking loud. And then um she uh she she gets to. She gets to trying to make the audience, you know, uh, believe what she's talking about. Believe everything she's talking. She go on a whole smear campaign. She be right on the smear campaign every time something happened with her, especially about that um, that drugging people, drugging Portia. And I believe she wanted Portia anyway, because oh, Todd admitted on camera. Todd admitted on camera, girl, that he was attracted to Portia, and and Candy don't look like no Portia baby. He, she don't look nothing like a Portia. Now he he didn't want candy. He wanted candy money, and I believe Mother Mother Joyce when she said it, and I believe her. I still I still think he he was he he taking money from her. But what anyway, you about, what you think about her calling saying that Nene called her the the C double O N word and nobody can find the receipts? I don't think that Nene said that. And uh, um, Nene Nene is a person that she'll say if, if it's true. Nene will bust out and say it on social media, on her page, whatever. Nene don't care. She'll say it. So she said, "Yeah, I caught her." She'll say, "Yeah, I caught her that because of this and this and this." Um, and how she how she went behind their back. She'll say it. So mm -hmm. I don't believe Nene called her a coon. But I like, the fact, like, I like the fact that that she hasn't responded though. I love it. Because right, giving them what what they want. Because if she responds, mm -hmm. that's gonna help them. They gonna trend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? People gonna go mm -hmm. watch the show, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And that's why they used her today 
as the lead into the show, playing all those old episodes when Nene was in, so people can watch mm-hmm. that again and mm-hmm. and be you know tuned in for Candy. I I like Nene, and I like the fact that Nene was real. I I mm-hmm. like Nene. I like she was real, but I I wouldn't have fought uh, for my friendship with Cynthia towards the end with the snake gate and all that mess. I wouldn't have fought for the friendship. I would have just let it left it, left it how it is because. Um, Cynthia go which way the wind blows. Cynthia not genuine, and you could just tell she just, you know, she she has to have a click because she's not strong. Her her storyline never been strong, so mm-hmm. you know she had to have other people with her at all times because mm-hmm. she don't have no story. No, we tired of seeing Mike and his bald head. We tired of seeing that. We tired of seeing that ball spot. You know what I'm saying? And we knew he was a player anyway because all his friends is females. You, you see him but one man up in there. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You know, Cynthia should know. And and when everybody was calling her insecure, they had like a little game thing in Lake Bailey or whatever. And she uh-huh. said, um, I'm not um who's who's the most um thirsty person? You was thirsty to get married because you knew that you had to try to keep your um spot on the show. And and you you insecure, like like Nene said. She is secure because she 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 seen all the women up in there. And to me, to me, I'm gonna tell you like this: before she got her cheeks done, uh-huh. Cynthia was not cute to me. Before she got her, when she was getting married to Peter and she was crying and everything on the show when it was um at Kim Zosiak um friend house uh-huh. and and she was crying and everything about the wedding. I'm sorry, I'm sick, y'all. My voice gone, That's but she was okay. crying about the wedding and everything. Cynthia was not cute. In no shape, form, or fashion, she ain't got get cute to uh, slightly cute to me till she got um them cheeks done, and 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 you could tell she got her cheeks done because she always talking about uh, yeah these cheek bones, these cheek bones. I, uh, I hate her hand movements, everything. This, this. <laughs> I, I can't, y'all. I'm telling you, I can't, I can't. But you know, but for real though, if Phaedra came back, it would liven the show up because. Because couldn't nobody get Kenya together like Phaedra? could nobody get Kenya together like Phaedra and Peter? Because Peter wanted to be a girl, too. I wanted a um, housewives, too. So don't be Peter, doing Peter like that. That's my friend. Don't I don't, don't, look, look, your friend wanted to be a, a, a housewife. Okay. <laughs> That's your friend, but he wanted Peter to be a housewife. I got to keep real and, and shame the devil. He the housewife. He wanted to be a housewife, but Peter got her together though. Oh, when he was talking about Walter, how she paid Walter and stuff. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> you messier than me. You messier than me with <laughs> Peter had the peak. Cynthia had the peak. Peter had the peak. Pe- uh, uh, Cynthia was the husband. Peter had the <laughs> <laughs> Peter had the peak. They didn't have to pay Cynthia. They could have paid Peter. We would have liked to see Peter than Pete than Cynthia. I would like to see Noel than Cynthia and Noel born. All she do is smile. I would like to see Noel than Cynthia. Matter of fact, they could have put Cynthia's sister on there. What's her name? Matter what? What? Mallory. Uh-huh. Mallory. I would love to see Mallory as a housewife instead of Cynthia. And where Mallory husband at? Okay, let me go, girl. I gotta go because I've been no guy. Into something else. I like I like Mallory because she was gonna get candy that night. She was gonna get candy when Candy said, I drag you. Ken, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna throw rice at a Chinese wedding, baby. Uh you weren't gonna get Mallory that day because Mallory was gonna whoop you. And I I was there for it. You hear me? Mm-hmm. I was there for it. Huh? What are you calling from? Girl, Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. 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 What's up with y'all? Oh my God. Okay. Girl, we, we be keeping it real. We keep it real over here. And mm-hmm. and and when we all watch it, when we all watch it and everything, we be talking to the TV because we want to be there and go off with them and stuff. You know, I I I I'm I've been watching uh Real Housewives since the first season. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I I'm a, I'm a regular, but I promise you, if Portia ain't on this season coming up, I'm not watching it. They lost a viewer, baby, a few of them, because we all talk about that. I, I came to see what Portia had on and who Portia with and, and what's going on Portia like, because she made the show. Uh-huh. She made the show for me. I Her think that, like, like Anika said, I think the, the husbands played an integral part, too, because you know, having seen that relationship with the guys on there, yeah. like, remember it was Greg and Peter and Apollo. And, and, they, like, and remember... Good. 
And remember when they were sitting around talking about if you weren't married to this woman, who would your wife, who would you be with? And Ty said Portia. Now he said he said Portia bad. Show did. I watched it. He said Portia bad. And and he said I would it would be Portia. And um, what's his name? Uh, uh Apollo wanted Kenya. I believe it. I believe he wanted Kenya. Ooh, no. I believe he had her. I believe he had her too. I, but she can't she can't keep no man. And, and remember, um, uh-huh. I said it. And, and remember, <laughs> and remember when um when um um look at that girl, you is crazy. You 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 messy. But, <laughs> but remember when um uh, they was talking about it on the um reunion, how how um uh what's the name was texting him and they was texting back and forth and and how um she was trying to meet him up in LA and all that i believe apollo that that on that reunion so i i don't believe when when they said that it's fake or or he was lying i don't believe that i believe that that man needed some commissary and and he knew that um what's the name one going to give it to him cuz he said she was talking to somebody else and rightfully so cuz you was you was flirting with um Kenya the whole show so rightfully so, she should have had another man waiting in the wind. She should have, because he he was he kept on he kept on doing little stuff to to show Kenya that she could keep on, you know, coming at him. That's that's disrespectful. That was disrespectful. You know, well, you, so you know when he was on my show about a uh -huh. year or so ago, he he was taken up for Kenya with Mark because he was like. Yeah, yep. he, he, how, how Mark was treating Kenya. Yes, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh, I watched it. You that with your fiance? Oh, yes, because he want he wanted to mess with Kenya, and when he and probably when he got it, uh huh, <laughs> and probably when he got it, he didn't want it no more. Because remember, um. Uh huh. Cause remember when uh, I'll be I'll be reading between the lines, baby. Cause remember, cause I I'll never be on here, so I gotta get it all out. So uh -huh. um, I remember when um um on the show uh on the reunion um um what's her name Nene called Kenya Funk Box. Remember they said her I, I I believe she was talking about her breath. You know that her breath stank real bad, so she got her teeth done. Cause when she was in Miss America, baby, she looked like a jack o' lantern up there. Cause I looked at the I looked at the um. The um, with YouTube and seeing the, the pageant, she has spaces all between her teeth. I'm a I'm a teeth person, so I, I look at teeth. She has spaces all between her teeth and everything. That's why her mouth cricket up like that. But she got her she got her teeth done on social media, and I seen um Dr. Heavenly did it. I said, well, thank you Jesus, because <laughs> that crooked mouth, baby, I can I can stand her, and I don't want to go to hell for. Almost hating don't do it like that. Don't do it like Seriously. that. Seriously, like I can't stand that. her and 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 how she act. But I believe she's a good mom. I believe she's a good mom, even though she paid the donor. I believe she's a good mom. You, and you don't have to have sex. Listen here, you don't have to have sex to to be artificially inseminated to have a child. So her and Mark never had a dynamic like like they was. Lovey W. Only one time when he smacked her booty and it was going inside the bowling alley. He smacked her booty one time. That's nothing. There ain't no kiss. I believe he couldn't stand her breath. But okay, you you. <laughs> you know I said that too because the only thing we had was pictures of them in Barbados at the IVF clinic. Thank you. And uh, when she so called got the got divorced, we ain't hear nothing about that. Where the where the where divorce papers at? Ooh. she's supposed to be divorced. Where the papers at? Ooh. And she didn't even know where she was. And she didn't even know where she got married at. She said some other place, and then we were like, "What?" You know, yeah. like. She said, you didn't know where you got married, that girl. Come on, yeah. in a turquoise or something, whatever it was that you didn't get you. I was like, why was she? Why was she not? Um, why was she not? Um, you know, show the thing at first. I would have been like, you know, oh, my whole certificate would be up there with with all the stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, I had to go. Okay, go, go back. Yeah. to 2017. Show y'all. Look at. Mm -hmm. Look, and, he and she paid. She, you know the blogger said that she paid his taxes before they got married. He mm -hmm. had ninety seven thousand dollars worth of taxes. Yeah, that's why he married you on the show. And look, she went taxes. by herself one day. Look at the clinic. By, they had pictures of her going in and coming out the clinic by herself. Exactly. Came down there to drop off his to look, drop off his you know put his cup in the thing. Let me say <laughs> one more thing. thing in the cup. 
Look, let me say one more thing. Inseminated. Look at that. And that's what what they said. You, you all you, you know is somebody piece needed right a piece. Of. That's why that's why Phaedra dragged her about about somebody ejaculating in a cup to to give her a baby. But let me say one more thing. You know when he was trying to leave her after um the show was over and he said um cut and I like he would never be on camera again. Uh -huh. Um, she remember she had that white. That that white um what kind of car is that uh what the doors went up what was that um Tesla uh, she had just bought that Tesla she gave it to Mark do you hear me she gave it to uh, Mark to make him do some more episodes she gave that car to Mark 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 Soho whatever uh, restaurant he wasn't even paying his workers that he didn't have no money she 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 helped him with his back taxes. So I believe she gave him that car so he could come back for a couple more little episodes saying, you know, so he could act like he really in love with, you know, her I and Brooklyn. The archives, y'all. All of this was on straight from the A. Y'all, y'all late. And that's what yeah. I'm telling you, girl. Look at this. <laughs> I go in social media. 31st, see 2018. Did Kenya Moore cut the check? No. Nah. <laughs> this huge tax debt was clear yeah. just days before their quickie wedding. Look, Thank you. Look, we got Thank receipts. you. Hold Thank on. you. Look. She had to for him to play, the play her husband. Straight from the A. Just they like she paid Walter. They're going to mm -hmm. restaurant. His tax bill was 97000 And you know he ain't just getting no money. Cent, and he had been owing that since 2016. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And then they paid a separate outstanding bill for $44,236 the same day. See? 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 Then Mark See? and Kenya was married on the beach 10 days mm -hmm. later after mm -hmm. the May 31st payment. And at the she time, needed to be back on that show. That Kenya was planning to use the marriage as leverage for more money. To be on that show because she stayed on social media yeah. when she was going through that pregnancy. She stayed on social media. I said, I ain't seen this much of Kenya. In, and look, I had in a long time. Mind. The verdict is still out on if the marriage is actually valid in the United States. My story Thank ain't you. never changed. Thank Mark you. and Kenya have been moving about as a happily married couple and were even spotted in Barbados reportedly seeking infertility treatments. Hmm. Hmm. The timing she, of the tax payments seem a bit coincidental, and some feel that Kenya may have cut the check as a part of her marriage mm -hmm. negotiation. Now, mm -hmm. and she and and to tell you the truth, how, how long she said she was dating him? You can't talk to his mom now. You don't. You don't. Y'all don't have no relationship. You don't. Talk, you you ain't never to, um um let let uh Brooklyn talk to them, or or you ain't never talked to his parents. Uh -huh. That's. That's that's the, that's weird within itself. You married a man that your dad. She knew her dad was going because her dad don't seem like the type to play. She knew her dad and her auntie. Her auntie she don't play either. She knew her dad and her auntie would 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 say something, so she couldn't tell them that she was that she was faking the thing. I believe she told Cynthia, and Cynthia told her uh, she told her to, how to do Mike. I believe that because because both of them paid their men to stay on that show. Cynthia, I, I promise you, I ain't seen that much of Kenya in I don't know how long. How she was on social media when she wasn't on that show, I'm telling you. And she paid that man to be her husband, just like she paid Walter. I can't stand her. I can't. Okay, girl, <laughs> let me go because I I I gotta pray about this. <laughs> yeah, go pray. Thank you, Leticia. I appreciate you. All right, you're welcome. All right, bye. All right, bye. I put the link in the chat, y'all, because, you know, I probably forget. I probably forget. But here go the link to Straight from the A. Most of the time, you could just Google um, Kenya Moore, Mark Daly, tax Straight from the A, and it'll come up. Uh, the link to the, the Barbados article is also in the same uh, link that I just put it put in the uh, chat as well. Uh, let me take one more call, and I'm headed up. What time is it? I got seven minutes to make it over there. Let me get Emily. Hey, Emily. You on mute. Hi. Hi. I just think that Kenya is personally going to do whatever it takes to stay on the show. She is kind of entertaining. She's messy. She's a part of it. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with her doing the whole marriage thing because she brings it. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's it. That's all you got is for Kenya? 
Yeah, I think um, I did also want Portia on the show because I love Kenya and Portia's kind of back and forth. Um, and with like everything that's been going on with Portia, I just think she should show it to the world. Otherwise, she looks guilty. Uh-huh. Um, maybe they should give her a raise or something. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Love your channel. Well, I appreciate you, Emily. Where are you calling from? Um, California. Okay. Well, thank you for calling. You're a first time caller? Mm-hmm. Okay. Call back. I appreciate y'all. But none of y'all came on camera today. I'm mad about that. But I'm gonna let it slide today. <laughs> she hung up. I be want to see y'all faces. I really do. It's all good. Uh, shout out to uh, everyone who uh, called in tonight. Shout out to everyone who uh, contributed to the stream. If you are not a member of my Patreon, I suggest you join the post haste. Patreon.com. I am AT Elian. I'm headed over there right now. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to have a little fun over there. We're doing a little game night, a little fun, something where we uh, sing karaoke. Do I have my karaoke mic? I do. I do. Uh, if you're just getting here, like this video, please, and thank you. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that when I, oh, somebody in my backyard, so that when I turn on my, uh, subscribers only you will be able to chit chat okay uh don't be getting mad when i turn on subscribers only i'm not asking you for no money subscribing is free now when i turn on members only that's gonna cost y'all see you need to get ready mentally ready for that because i chat be off the chain okay it be off the chain why should we let outsiders who don't even want to uh subscribe be in here with us with our squad <sighs> anyway we had a good old time. We talked about a lot of things. We talked about candy burgers, as usual. Child candy want to be talked about. We're going to talk about it. We also talked about Nene Leaks. We talked about Cynthia Belly. And we talked about Fedra, honey. Like they said in the beginning of this live, this live was better than the, the fifth season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So we might as well talk about stuff that is Real Housewives of Atlanta adjacent since everything else is boring on the TV. Okay. I will be here. I will be here for your entertainment. So go ahead and rewind if you just get here. And yeah, I'll see y'all over on the Patreon, okay? I'll see y'all over on the Patreon or the Pantheon as uh, Candy calls it, okay? Uh, thank y'all for joining. See y'all in the next video. Shaggy, These bitch. people don't like me, yeah, but that's my bitch. <laughs> that's my Fuck bitch. them hoes. Ain't that right, Brandon? Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy. Hanging out with Stray from the A. You know, I love you. Hey, Michelle, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just won't let me be great. Who are you, Michelle? You just, you get me every time, girl. You ain't gonna miss nothing, did you? Shit. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Candy, and you are logged in to straightfromtheage.com. And you know, hey, I got to represent because I'm straight from the age. This is Tyler Perry, and if you want the truth, a lot of blogs don't tell the truth, straightfromtheage.com. That's what you check out.